KC24 News Sunrise. A Tulare police officer and his canine shot several times on Sunday night. The latest on the investigation, plus a massive snowstorm in the deep south, the damage and what residents are up against. Good morning. Welcome to Casey Sunrise. I'm Bailey Miller in for Joe Moeller, and I'm here with Lauren Wallace. And so this morning, what are we looking at? I mean, it wasn't too foggy and it's probably a lot less foggy right now. too. Exactly. Yeah. So good news for you. You're not used to coming in at this I know, time, I'm so not. a much smoother commute for you. Mm -hmm. So that's the good news. It's not going to be widespread and dense like we were tracking on Friday morning, so that's something you missed out on I last know, week. I know, I've always wanted to experience this just fog, to see what you we're know? talking about. Well, maybe one day when we have it, you can just yeah. set your alarm for the middle and of the night. And just walk outside. <laughs> just, and oh, look. there it is. They go <laughs> there back, to, go back bed. to bed. I don't want to drive in it or <laughs> exactly. anything. Exactly. Yeah. So this morning, your morning commute will be a little easier, especially compared to your Friday morning. Here's where we stand with our visibilities. We have some patchy fog, but again, it hasn't been too dense. Two and a half miles for those of you in Porterville and visibility at three miles in Visalia, three miles in Lemoore, Fresno also coming in at three miles and then heading to the North Valley. Merced, you are at four miles. 48 degrees for those of you in Fresno now. We have 48 in Hanford, same with Visalia and Mendota. 48 degrees in Merced. It's a common number this morning and right at the freezing point for those of you in Oakhurst. So temperatures starting out actually about 10 degrees above our average lows. We'll call it a little bit of a milder morning, but our afternoon highs will be fairly close to average. So here's a look at your day planner. 47 degrees at 8 o'clock. Again, some patchy fog. 53 degrees at noon. We'll keep some clouds around for your lunch hour and then 52 degrees degrees at five o'clock this afternoon. Next couple of days, we're actually going to see a slight warming trend. So I'll take a look at that coming up, but first we'll send it back to Bailey. Developing developing this morning, Tulare County deputies are investigating an officer involved shooting on Avenue 232 and Road 68. An officer and his canine were shot multiple times. Investigators tell us a Tulare police officer tried to pull over a car last night. They say the driver instead tried to get away and then it ended in a shooting. Police say there were three people in the car. Two were shot, one died, the other is in grave condition. A third suspect was taken to the hospital just to be checked out. We're told the canine died. His officer was shot, but is expected to survive. The department is not releasing the officer's name at this time, but told us he's been with the department around six to eight years. He'd just been assigned to K-9 and had just completed his five week training with, uh, with his partner. And this was one of their first weekends working together. Police tell us they don't know who shot first or how many rounds were fired. New at sunrise, the woman accused of drowning her baby twins is set to appear in court today. 37 year old Heather Langdon was arrested last week in Tulare. She faces double homicide charges. Police say she drowned her 10 month old babies at a motel. Her family tells us she and her ex husband have been divorced for years and share a 14 year old, 13 year old and five year old boys. Visalia criminal defense attorney says mental illness could play a role in her defense. Tulare police say Langdon does not have a criminal history. A Farmersville man is in custody after police say he brutally beat to death his roommate. Officers arrested 25 year old Alexander Shin yesterday. He's accused of killing his roommate and dumping his body in an orchard. Farmersville police say Brian Alexander Garza was asleep on his couch early Saturday morning when Shin struck him with a metal bar and strangled him. Garza's sister spoke to us by phone. She tells us Garza would have become a father next month. She says her brother was an army veteran who put family over everything. Everybody wants justice for him just the same. And they all know that he didn't deserve this. Andrea Garza tells us her brother never mentioned Alexander Shin. Police are searching for two men who robbed a party rental store at gunpoint. It happened yesterday morning on Kings Canyon near Chestnut in southeast Fresno. Investigators say two men walked into the store pointing the guns at three employees and demanding money, but there wasn't any for them to steal. The suspects were not able to get any money from the store, uh, so then they reverted to taking personal belongings from the employees of the store. No one was hurt. Police are gathering security video and interviewing witnesses to identify the suspects. If you have any information, you should call the Fresno Police Department. Fresno police are looking for the man who they say stabbed someone over a parking spot. It happened at Saturday at Las Micheladas Sushi and Bar near Fresno State. Police say two men got into an argument, then a fist fight that ended with one of them getting stabbed repeatedly. The victim is in stable condition and there's no description of the suspect. 
A man is in the hospital this morning after investigators say he was intentionally hit by a minivan. Fresno police were called to Tealman and Eden yesterday afternoon. They found the man with injuries to his legs. They say witnesses told them the man got into an argument with the driver of a minivan who then ran him over. And uh, it appears at this point intentionally crashed into the fence of that front yard and did strike uh, the, the male in his 50s uh, intentionally. It's unclear what the dispute was about. No arrests have been made. This morning, millions of families are dealing with the effects of a massive winter storm in South and North Carolina, Oklahoma and Virginia have all declared states of emergency. Reports of Raleigh, North Carolina say there's been more than 700 crashes this past weekend and nearly 2000 calls for service. Latest reports also say nearly 200,000 residents in North Carolina are without power. Victims of the campfire in Butte County are returning to see what's left of their homes. One woman found something that no one could replace, her dog Madison. These photos shared thousands of times on social media. Madison's owner wasn't able to make it back home in paradise when the campfire forced her to evacuate. Madison owner was allowed to return and there was Madison protecting what little remained of her home. KC Sunrise time is 6.07. Still ahead, the CDC wants you to stop eating raw cookie dough this season. How to